Today we're going to talk about scientific illustrations. We do not only have scientists, but also real artists who help researchers to illustrate their papers. Today introducing scientific illustrator Esme Winkel. Hi. What is a scientific illustrator and how do you become one? I draw everything for the publications of researchers. From schematic drawings to cells to food plates of uh, new species. And while I was studying biology, I came across this a scientific illustration. I was so fascinated, that is what I wanted to do. So I went to study the master course scientific illustration in Maastricht. I had to draw various subjects from bones to full skeletons, dissections, and in the end I had to draw the operations at the operation room, which was fascinating. How does a typical day look like? So here at Naturalis we're with the four of us. I most of the time work on bi uh, botanical illustrations. My colleagues work on the zoological illustrations here at Naturalis, from insects to sharks. And my day looks like I come into my room, I have plants on my desk, I study them, I sketch everything. And when my sketching is done, then I start doing the reconstruction of the drawings, making a complete drawing, uh, which I will ink. Why wouldn't you just take a photo? Photos help, but only with an illustration you can make a full reconstruction of the species. So I do not make a portrait of the plant, but I make an overall view of the whole species. When are you most proud of your work? I think a very good example is during my studies I had to draw at an operation room and you, you can, might imagine that an operation is very messy and chaotic. When I make the illustration, it's for the assistant immediately clear that how he needs to hold his hand with which instruments, which stitches he needs to make, where, and where are the organs and which veins he needs to avoid. So with the illustration it's completely clear and it's the same thing with these botanical illustrations. Is your work only shown in scientific papers? Most of the time its, um, it's main goal is for the researchers. But I also try to use my illustrations elsewhere, so I exhibit them often, for example at the Royal Horticultural Society in London, but also in other places in the States or in Edinburgh recently. Which work is really special to you? I had to draw a few new species of orchids, and one of these orchids was named after Jane Goodall in the publication of Et de Vogel en Rogier van Vught. She came to the Hortus Botanicus Leiden to receive this honor, and this was so inspiring to meet her and talk to her. I also won for this particular illustration a gold medal at the Viscott exhibition in Edinburgh in Scotland. Do you have any advice for people interested in nature? I would say start drawing. If you put that line on your piece of paper, you'll see these fascinating details and a wonderful variety of color and form in nature. 